All right, all right, all right. It is time for another episode of the Florencio Files. And it is going to be a Protoss first Zerg down here. An unsuspecting victim going about his day he says, Yay, I'm on Ephemeron. Let's play some StarCraft. It is Wilk. Up here in the top left-hand side in the blue, representing Floatoz. It is the Dexterminator. Part Dexter, part Terminator. And of course, 100% free range sewer mermaid. Do you think they grade it that way? If you want to get yourself a sewer mermaid steak? This is from a couple seasons ago. So I think this must be an old favorite that I somehow never cast from one of the previous uh, replay packs, which Flo realized and slipped in here. Let's so we'll take a look. But yeah, do you think if you could get sewer mermaid steak, they'd be like, oh yes, this one is feces fed. We haven't given it any of that bad stuff, you know. It's been out there eating the good, the good sewer juice. <laughs> like, oh, okay, this is nice. You know, it's, uh, diet has been supplemented with, uh, lots of hair from, uh, unclogged drains. That, that's how you know it's got plenty of nutrients in it where they get the iron, the, the iron because there's iron in here I guess there is a forge there is another probe guys and it's gonna be a gas steal alarm bells going off will no bail him bail him bail him he's gonna do it isn't he I love how he oh ooh. hello goodbye Wilk's like oi stop it why are you being a dickhead oh he doesn't know how you gotta oh you gotta attack the pylons buddy Oh, look at this guy. He's trapped. Oh, no. He's got a face full of the other drone's butts. They're both farting on him. He's like, guys, let me help. I can fight. And they're like... <laughs> that guy's getting farted on. Uh, oh, man. I mean, this pylon's going to... gonna That's going to be... Maybe go down? But this one in the back will definitely get off. Yeah, he's even walling it in with another cannon. Another pylon in case they focus that pylon down. And Wilk realizes this is a lost cause. That's a dead expansion. Does finish the pylon before going back, but Flo can always just build another pylon up here or leave his probe there to spot. Two Zerglings do get across the map. That's nice. They're going to force a cannon or something at home. A Zealot will build for now. And what is the next step for Wilk, who just pulled all the drones and lost an immense amount of minerals? All right. A little bit of hentai. Not a bad way to start. No queen has even started yet. And he's building Zerglings from the natural and he's going to try to run those out. But look at that good wall off there. And a zealot going to be following it up. Double gas on the way. Flow's macro, not too bad this game. He's uh, starting to chrono some probe. Well, to not chrono. He's starting to build some probes. He's saving the chrono for the chads, of course. If you, uh, if you guys ever wonder, if, if you go and use chrono boost on, on probes, when there is a stargate in the build order, when those chads come out, it's like if you... Uh, it's like if you accidentally, like, graze the car of a trust fund, trust fund boy, you know? He's like, did you just fucking touch my car, you fucking peasant? And the probe's like, oh, well, we needed to get out faster. It was kind of important. And he's like, did you fucking touch my property? You're fucking poor. This is the best car, the fastest. It's got red stripes. Do you guys think Trump would have been a mad Chad? I think Trump would have been a mad Chad. He would have been awesome. I can imagine Trump driving a Chad Ray. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I feel like he'd do a good job. He'd just, he'd always be complaining that there's not enough prismatic alignment. That, that would be, he'd be like, fucking, we need more. Um, what do we got here? A stalker? No, no stargates here. I'm disappointed, Flo. What's going on, mate? No corner base, no stargates. What are we doing? Is he going to take his natural? Okay, Stargate, and of course, he's getting the cannon in the main. Preparing for the Nidus one. The Zealot's like, Oh, are you going for a Nidus, buddy? What are you doing? Sees a macro hatch on one base and a Roach Warren. Wilk is not spending the lava. He's got to got to get that second gas. Looks like he's just saving it to build a ton of Ravages to bust on out of here. Now, the Roach Warren finishes. Wilk. We're going to go to Wilk's camera. Wilk's got no... Oh, he's scouting. He sees the Stargate. Now he's thinking, should I build Roaches? <laughs> you gotta build something, buddy. Your lava's just sitting there. Oh no, Wilk. He builds one roach. No, now he builds four overlords because he's almost oh he's almost supply blocked. Oh Wilk. 
Quill, 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 quill. Just kind of spread and creep in the main. I mean, you can tell he's not even injecting. He's got two queens and he's just like, oh, what do I do? Roaches can't shoot up. Fuck. What's Wilk's APM? Uh, a solid 104. Florencio, actually the faster player with his Xbox controller, but I think it's because when you rotate the joysticks, the APM artificially jumps up. So it's not real APM. I wouldn't call it efficient APM, it's Xbox APM. Uh, Nexus is most of the way complete. First, Chad is on the way. Shield battery's even here. Florencio just wants to make this as hard to break out of as possible. <clears throat> It'd be a big orange Chad Ray with tiny wings. <laughs> What does Australia think of Trump? Uh, well, actually, I'm going hiking this weekend, Guy Magoo, uh, with my druid friends. So we are planning to commune with the land. So I should have an answer for you later today when I get to find out exactly what Australia's thoughts on Trump are. So, uh, yeah. We're not sure how deep we'll go. Um, we are thinking we might sacrifice, like, a fucking goat on a mountaintop or something like that. But we'll, uh, we'll see how we go. Are those bi- are you missing biles on cannons? Oh my god. <laughs> Beavis and butthead ravages, right? Did you just fucking- did you just fucking miss? They're like, no, look, we hit that one. I'm like, yeah, after you missed two. Fucking Beavis and butthead. Look, this guy's like, guys, this is how you do it. This one here, this is Herm Actually, that's- it's Ron and Harry, and that's fucking Hermione. This is Neville Longbottom. Fuck off, Neville. No one likes you. Um, B- oh, fucking Ron- yeah. I, I swear. I, I don't know- if how Harry is the fucking hero. And I do think, honestly, Hermione could do better. Like, she's like, oh, I'm gonna get with Ron. And I'm like, honey, you're you're a competent human. Like, do you want a fucking partner or do you just want to have a servant? Because that, that guy is literally useless and you're literally the hero of this fucking, this fucking series. And she's like, I am the only one who knew how to actually do magic and combat and fucking win everything while the other the boys stood around like basically playing with themselves but you know i'm like shit girl fucking jesus well, i think it was part of jk rowling's feminist agenda to be honest i think she wanted to showcase how women do all the work and men get all the credit oh Ooh, a cheeky nidus worm just out of vision there so wilk is gonna knight us now what are we nidusing eight queen holy shit it's eight queens oh god that's a- that's a Chad-killing army, that is, guys. Uh-oh, Ravager's gonna beat Cannons, Queen's gonna beat Chads. I think- I think- I think we need a Fleet Beacon. Twilight Council is not necessarily gonna cut it. I mean, it's gonna take a while for the March of the Queens to get there. Remember, they, uh, if you ask them if they'd- they'd like some KFC, they always say yes. And, uh, this is the result, unfortunately. Um... Oh, no, it's, uh, it's genetic. It's genetic. Uh, we've got short legs and, uh, and we can't walk off. Oh, my God! I don't know, guys! Some big boned lasses. They're going to take a while to get over there, but they're going to fuck this shit out of those chads. If those chads try to fight them head on, they're going to destroy them. I had some KFC the other day. I forgot how good it is, man. I forgot how good it is. I had a, a three-piece three piece original recipe box. Oh, it's so good, man. It was actually, actually pretty tasty. All right. Ah, uh, <clears throat> uh, all right. These units are going down. Piling over there. Oh, the Chads get the Nidus Worm. Ah, stabs him in the butt. Takes out the one queen that's there. New Nidus goes up at the front though. I mean, Flo has. Okay, he's gonna use Stalkers on the high. So he's got a Twilight and he's got one gate building Stalkers, which he's managed to get. He's about to get his sixth Stalker off one gate. Florids. <laughs> He has been enjoying the, uh, the Blink Stalker micro. I don't know if you guys saw the episode where he was, like, microing his heart out with the Blink Stalkers. But he just hadn't figured out yet that you're meant to run away when they're all really weak and let their shields regenerate. So he just kept fighting with, like, all these five hit point Stalkers that he'd saved. And just, like, all of his hard work he just threw away in the second half of the engagement. I was like, no, 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 you meant to disengage and let them regenerate their shields. And he was like, we're gonna keep attacking in here. <laughs> they all died, and I was like... He did some really good micro for maybe the first time we've ever seen it. And, uh, <laughs> he just ruined it with that. Uh, all right, the Stalker's here. Ravages and Queens coming forward. Chads are going to pull back a little bit. Got the Queens there. Oh, Ravages and Queens pushing forward. Oh! Oh! 
<laughs> so the thing is, these, these stalkers are actually sick good against the queens. It's just the queens have like unlimited transfuse. So what we're going to see is, does Wilk know how to cast all the transfusers? And he should just kill the shield batteries. Problem is, if, if the Ravagers die, that's going to be a problem. Do we know how to transfuse? He's doing a good job so far, but those stalkers are doing a lot of damage. He's got to pull the Ravagers to the back, man. Uh-oh. One goes down. The Biles are not the most, uh, the most power. He's doing it though. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna recall out. He's gonna recall out. Look at that, look at that. He stacks on the gas, he stacks on the gas. And Flo recalls his entire army to safety. Injects the recall. Ah, oh, sweet release. He's building a Robo. Are we gonna go Colossus or something? I, I would actually prefer Disruptors. Queens kind of kick the shit out of Disruptors. I mean, an Immortal's not a bad place to start. Remember the Zerg's on 17 drones. There's been no macro behind this. He's just started droning and building an expansion. He's got four spores and two queens, so... I, I feel like there's a lot of room to drone up behind this. There's 1,400 gas and infestation pit. Imagine how amazing that would be. Look at this. Stalker Chadray counterattack. Uh, oh, he even pulls back the weak stalker. Who needs blink when you can just right click back? What a beast. All right, so these units are thinking about popping home and they should be able to defend just fine. I mean, these queens though, not transfusing right now. They are a little distracted. Stalker's having a bit of a party. He's gonna pop some of the units back. Okay, maybe thinking about popping all of them out. And are they gonna... Yes, all these units have just been in and out of a sphincter a few times. I think that's honestly the most impressive thing about Abatha's genetic design. The units don't even mind. They're like, yeah, that that happened. And you're like, dude, you just popped in and out of a sphincter. You climbed through a friggin' giant intestinal tract. For some reason, there's teeth on either end of it. We don't, still don't know why. Surely you get scraped up there. And you're like, oh, it's fine. Like, it's a bit weird. Also, why is there a tongue in this one? Is that help propel them out? Is, the, is it like you get to the exit and then it's hard to climb out, so the tongue like just catapults units? It, do you guys think that's how it does it? Not sure. Oh, hatch cancel, nicely done. Flo's got to get the hell out of there though. Those queens doing some good damage. The three chads pulling back. There is an immortal, and the the first disruptor is about to pop. So, um, Flo's a big fan of going bowling. He really enjoys it. So he's going to try to maybe throw some balls. And I mean, queens are about the easiest target hit. I don't know why we're expanding here, honestly. Like, this seems unnecessary, compli unnecessarily complicated. Like, why wouldn't you just go home and have both bases next to each other, right? Like, I don't I don't think he knows either, to be honest. Look at this flow's like, ha -ha. Six pylons at once, macro, and I'll distract you with a run by. <laughs> Four stalkers and three chads just running around. It's it's a little weird. Does the Nidus occasionally eat a soldier every now and then? It should, hey. I really should, man. I mean, another Nidus is coming down here. Where are the balls at? Is there only one? Okay, second and third are on the way, but they're not here yet, man. If these units pop out here, Flo's in trouble. He's building batteries, but he doesn't have a lot. I mean, he's got recall off cooldown. He can bring those units home. He's looking for more hatcheries, but he doesn't find any. He's got to defend, dude. He loses these disruptors. He's in trouble. Whole army is gonna recall home. Okay. Let's see how big his balls are. First disruptor shot. Tags a queen, but only one. The second one. Oh my god, it goes deep, but he gets the disruptor surrounded. Oh, these queens are kicking the shit out of these units. Alright, one more big ball, one more big ball. Oh my god, another four queen shot. Transfuse is a pretty good spell. <laughs> but as they engage into the batteries, the immortal the stalkers, as long as these disruptors survive, they're going to get more and more shots. That one only catches a drone. You can see there, Florencio, whatever he's microing his shot forward, his disruptors are trying to run on the army as well, which puts them in danger. I feel like they could have been cornered here. Oh, he throws one more out. Tags just one queen and a drone. These balls way out front. I, I don't know how Flo can feel comfortable with them sitting out there. Oh my god, Wilk! You either need to force the issue or go home right now. Oh my god. Oh, balls to the face. I mean, that's that's some turkey slap action right there. These queens are like, oh, we just want to have a nap. Put some band-aids on. Take a break from combat. We'll resume after this short recess. Florencio's like, what was that? Fucking runs over. Balls flailing and just smears them across the forehead of the queens. And they're like, that's against the rules. Fuck you. Flo's like, nah, man. It's fine. That's... <laughs> Like, this is combat. 
They're like, that is actually a war crime. It is a war crime. There's a big truck outside my house making a lot of noise. Close the window. Ah, there we go. Chat's pointing out the Zerg still had 2k minerals uh, before. No, uh, 2k gas. 2k gas. So, the Zerg absolutely should have expanded and droned up. I do agree. I'm not sure forcing the issue with Queens was the greatest idea. Took a while to do it as well. Gonna go with Zerglings. Now, Zerglings... Do you guys just see that? It's a perfect circle. You know it's one tumor in the middle. Flo's like, there must be a tumor somewhere. And he just fucking sends four foraging balls. He's like, where could it be? I'm like, it, it was a perfect circle of creep. Like, you know it's got to be one tumor. Smack bang in the middle. <laughs> Florence is like, man. <laughs> just throws it out on the <laughs> um, Lings are going to run. There's too many shield batteries. I would never run Lings into a base with that many shield batteries. Because if the probes just fight... Over here, not over there. They're actually running away from the shield batteries. So Flo doing some science micro there. Get back to the shield batteries. He should be over here stacking them on that gas. I guess he wants to hide them in the pocket. Fair enough. Oh, they're going to get a wrap around. The Lings do get a reach around on the balls, but they are unable to find relief there as the balls simply just drop a, a, a shot there onto those Zerglings. And uh, yeah, we've got how many? Four Disruptors, one Colossus out, another Colossus. Away. There's a Spire almost done. My favorite thing is how, like, the solution to flow is, like, to just keep building drones often. And you can, like, you can see the cogs turning in the Zerg player's brain. And they're like, I can take your base. And you're like, why are you doing that? Like, then you can't take your base back. And you're like, but wouldn't, like, couldn't you just have saturated, like, this one? And, like, taken a third and just defended with queens while doing other things? And they're like, but I took your base. And you're like, okay, yeah. I don't think you understand it any more than I do. Um... <laughs> By the way, guys, the Colossus just lost all its shields to a Spore Crawler. Walked right into range of it. Does end up not taking hull damage, though. No Stargate, and there's Muters building up, guys. A lot of them, too. That's five. It's not a lot. Um, is Recall off cooldown? Yeah, and he's got a Stalker that's trapped in here. This is a Stalker turret, for those who don't know. Just locked in between the buildings. There's a cannon there as well. Muters aren't going to do shit. Um, that being said, Flo doesn't have a, a great depth of resources to mine from, right? So Wilk does have more money. Uh, you know, if Wilk can just defend a few attacks, right? We'll be fine. The mute is like, aha, we caught you. Now, the stork is like, wait, we outnumber you. <laughs> like, well, like six muters versus six muters. Like, do you want to take that fight, muters? Like, the stalkers are happy to trade out for mutalisks any day. Uh, the muters are going to run home. Still just massing muters here. I don't know if it's going to do it, man. Two chads, 10 stalkers. I, I would want to have at least 15 mutalisks to deal with this. Right now, there's seven. There's five more in the way. There is some zerglings, but they're not going to do shit. The colossus are going to smack them. Oh, I think I think Flo may have found his timing. He may have found his timing. Ah, oh, is he going to go? He's going to go. Okay, the muters dive in, and they're trying to think about what they're clicking on. Oh. One chad falls. Will his trust fund brother go down as well? Will he? He will. All right. I mean, the drone may be dead, but they took out the two chads before they went down. Shout out to Wilk for being uh, yet another victim there. And uh, people are asking, is this 2K MMR? Either of these players would be the vast majority of the viewers. That's the glorious thing. So for those of you who are just hanging out, oh, these guys are so bad. Just little bit of humble pie for you just remember this one would be this this would be <clears throat> i don't know where this game would be because the apm was so low i think about diamond one um obviously flow is so experimental and he has so many accounts he plays on but uh definitely i think in the in the top x percent you know the top 20 percent or something like that most likely uh, this pro that's his, his Protoss. Flo has been has made GM with his Protoss before. Um, I don't think he's ever held it for more than a, a blink, but <laughs> it's uh, it's always good to see. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. We've got more Flow files coming up. I know we had a short break from it. I'm trying to do episodes every week, but we've had a very busy schedule. But we're back to trying to put out at least two episodes a week, preferably three or four, if we can keep it up. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to support the Patreon. A massive thanks to everyone who's going out there and just paying it forward and supporting the Patreon. You know who you are. Just want to say a heartfelt thanks and uh, enjoy the next video. We'll see you in the next time. Goodbye, guys.